okay so uh, now we'll be moving on to activity number two okay of the 2020 practical paper and now we'll be starting the database uh, question okay task a2 okay so over here it says Lucia has collected information about clients and their holiday accommodation she has saved the information in the database club details okay so immediately check do you have a database called club details yes you do have a database called club details okay then it goes on to say the database has three tables okay so the accommodation table has information about the types of accommodation the booking table has information about the bookings and the member table has information about the members okay over here the structure is given and why do they give you the structure of each table is so that certain fields you might not know what it means okay so when they give you the structure now you know what it means okay so for example if you look at something called accommodation rating sometimes you may not know what does what does accommodation rating mean so over here the description tells you there are three types of rating you have gold silver or bronze okay breakfast package there is only two values either yes or no okay and then when it comes to accommodation type it's a limited number of values it's a lookup caravan lodge shepherd's hut or your ute okay so we have the structure of the booking table as well like i'm telling uh, like i told you all previously the structure is given so that you have a better understanding of each field okay you don't have to assume anything and over here we have the members table as well okay now initially starting off we i think we can do this gray color area so you're supposed to open a new word document orientation should be set to landscape these details need to go into the header and the document needs to be saved as task a2 so let's get started let's come to your folder let's right click and say you want a new word document and let's save it as task a2 let's immediately go in go into the header let's double click into the header task a2 sorry your name your candidate number and your center number so you can close the header and footer now and don't forget the question paper also told you that the orientation should be landscape so make sure you stick to that you can come to layout you can come to orientation right now we are in portrait let's click on landscape okay so this is how your paper will appear once you go into landscape uh, so next the paper goes on to say Lucia wants to use a form to add extra accommodation to the accommodation table so open the club details database and open the accommodation table okay let's get started on that let's open the club details database so you'll have to click on enable content and then on the left hand side you can see the accommodation table is there so you have to open the accommodation table and then the question paper goes on to say create a form for the accommodation table the form must follow must must do the following let us first create the form okay so like i normally do i come to the create tab and i tell the computer to create the form for me okay don't go to form design blank form this is extra work for you where you will have to design the form and all that but if you just come and click on form the computer will design the entire form for you which makes your work very much more easier okay so just click on form and as you can see within a second the computer has created the entire form for you okay now let's go to the question paper and see what we are supposed to be doing so number one it needs to match the house style so if you remember the house style was that uh, sans serif font for the company name so the company name should have a sans serif font so we have not put the company name yet but we will be putting out putting it maybe later on so for now we don't need to worry about that uh, we need to get the logo in the bottom center okay so the logo needs to be placed in the bottom center so what i would do is i would go into design view okay go into design view and uh, let's increase the space over here and let's put the logo somewhere over here bottom center right yes so let's insert the logo let's come to form design and uh, let's click over here let's click on this blank area let's come to insert image i think i have previously told you when you go with logo it's not very flexible okay but when you go through insert image you have a lot of options it's very flexible the image comes properly you can draw it wherever you want it to come but when it comes to insert logo the image will just appear over here and the entire logo also doesn't appear okay so i'm not very uh, interested in using this logo option instead i prefer to use insert image okay so let's come to insert image let's click on browse let's locate where our image is our image is here so this is our logo let's say okay now the computer is asking me where do you want it to appear so bottom center is somewhere over here so let me draw it over here 
as you can see the logo has properly appeared in the bottom center okay now don't forget we also have to obey this but this will be obeyed only when we have put a company name so for now we don't have a company name on the form so let's let's get the company name first okay now it says include a suitable title that has a dark background and white text okay let's focus first on getting a suitable title okay so this is the accommodation table so what would be a suitable ta uh, title so the accommodation table includes information about the types of accommodation okay so uh, shall we say something like uh, I don't know types of accommodations accommodations by Lang getaways okay something like this so now what we can do is we can make sure that we are obeying that we are you know sticking to the house style let's come to format and let's say we want it to be Microsoft uh, sans serif okay so for sure we are now sticking to the house style okay uh, the next thing that needs to be kept in mind is that uh, dark background and white text so the background of where the text is appearing where the title is appearing it needs to be dark so let's go with something like maybe black you think black is a good idea and uh, what was the next thing and white text so let's make the text white let's select the text over here and let's say we want it to be white color okay I think that looks good okay uh, the next thing it says is it should include the date so I think the form already has the date it doesn't have the date no so let's include the date so if you come to form design uh, you should be able to find date and time over here so let's click on it uh, what do we want do we want only the date we need only the date so we can untick the time we don't need the time we just need the date let's keep it in short form let's keep it like this and say okay so the date is appearing over here as you can see so what you can do is you can make this smaller and you have the date if you want to see how your form looks change the view go back to form view this is the view that you will be using to enter your data it looks fine logo is there uh, the title is there the date is there okay so far so good okay then it says save the form as accommodation underscore form so you can just simply come and click on save and don't forget underscore form okay excellent then the question paper goes on to say task A to B so now we are done with task A to A I hope it has gone well for you now we move on to task A to B okay over here it says Lang getaways has bought another lodge okay use the accommodation form you created in task A to A to add these details to the accommodation table so these details we need to add to the accommodation table via the accommodation form so through the form these details have to be entered into the accommodation table okay so you need to obviously be in form view form view is where you enter data into your form okay and you can see these are the existing pieces of data this is form 1 form 3 form 4 form 5 this is the existing data data that has already been in entered into the accommodation table so what you need right now is a blank form to enter a brand new piece of information okay so what you can do is you can can you see at the bottom we have an arrow with a yellow color star so that is the button for a new blank record okay if you want a blank record so that you can enter something new you can click on this button okay so when you click on this button you get a fresh form a blank form where you can enter something new into it so what is the accommodation ref it's l9 lodge l9 and sorry l9 and it's a lodge so you can see that's already appearing accommodation name is quiet water six quiet waters maximum guess is six accommodation rating is going as gold location is going as Cornwall and breakfast is provided so Cornwall and breakfast is provided okay so once you have entered these details take a screenshot of the completed form paste a screenshot okay so let's do that let me take a screenshot you can press the print screen button so let's press print screen and let's come to Microsoft Word and let's paste it excellent and uh, now in order for this data to be sent to your accommodation table you need to save the form okay ensure you click on save because once you click save well, it will be considered as a completed record okay so click on save 
However, when you come to the accommodation table, you will notice it has still not come. Can you see L9 is not yet here? We have maximum up to L8. So what you need to do is you need to close the table and open it again. Once you close it and open it again, you will notice that this record L9 would have come into the accommodation table. Let's do it. Let's close it and let's reopen accommodation. Now you can see L9 has appeared. Okay, just keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, the next thing that needs to be done, the next thing that needs to be done is uh, resave task A2. Do not print at this stage. So we resave it. We are not printing. And then it says task A2C, sort the accommodation table into alphabetical order by location. So accommodation table, let's come here and into alphabetical order of location. So this is the location column. You can just click on it. The entire location column gets selected. Alphabetical order means ascending order. Okay. So you can see right over here in the home tab itself, we have ascending. Let's click on it. And the data has now been sorted in ascending order, which is A to Z. Okay. Uh, then the question paper goes on to say, resave the accommodation table. Let's do that. And then it goes on to say, take a screenshot of the sorted table, paste a screenshot in document task A2. Simple stuff. Let's take a screenshot, green screen. Let's come to our Word document. Let's press Control V. So this jumps to the second page. No probs. Uh, make sure that all the data is displayed on one side of A4 and is easy to read. Yes, so this is fitting exactly one side of A4. So perfect. Uh, resave task A2. Uh, do not print at this stage. Okay. So we are pretty much done with task A2C and now we move on to task A2D. Okay, let's see how task A2D works. Uh, over here it says Lucia wants a list of accommodation that is in a yurt available for three days and located in Cornwall. So she has three criteria for this. Okay, so create a query using the accommodation and bookings table to produce the list. Save the query as yurt. Okay, so let us first get the query in place. Let's come to create query design. I prefer design more than wizard. So when you come to query design, they ask you what are the tables you want to refer to. So in the question paper, they have very clearly said accommodation and bookings table. So let's take both those tables, accommodation, booking. Let's increase the size so you can properly see all the fields clearly. Let's make this side also bigger. This side also bigger. Okay, you can see both the tables are connected by a one to many relationship. Okay. Then the question paper goes on to say, uh, now the, the criteria, we will come back to it. Okay, we will come back to this. For now, let us first see what are the fields that we need to display. So we need to display accommodation ref, maximum guest, accommodation name, accommodation ref, accommodation name, and maximum guests. So these three, accommodation ref, ac maximum guest, accommodation name. Sorry, maximum guests need to come over here. accommodation name okay now since they told us to use both the tables okay they told us to use uh, both the accommodation and booking table uh, what I would do is instead of using the accommodate now here you can see all I have always used only the accommodation table so for just this particular field accommodation ref field I will be using the booking table okay it's the same values but since they told us to use both tables just to 100% obey their instructions I'm going to change this to the Accom bookings table okay so I'm taking accommodation ref from the bookings table just reminding you it's the same data okay this accommodation ref is connected to this accommodation ref. so it's obviously the same data the only reason I'm changing the table is because our question paper has said use both the tables okay use accommodation and bookings table so that's why for this just for this particular field instead of having all three from the accommodation table just for this field I'm changing it to the bookings table okay nothing to be confused I mean uh, no big deal over there okay uh, then let's now get the criteria into uh, let's also do this sorry let's do the sorting also descending order of accommodation name so accommodation name the sorting needs to be in descending order so let's click on it and say descending order okay now let's get into the criteria so number one it should be in a yurt so yurt comes in what field so yurt comes in accommodation type okay so once you take accommodation type, if you remember in the structure of the paper, they told this to us, right? If you remember here, accommodation type, you have caravan, lodge, yurt, okay? These are the different types of accommodations, okay? So <coughs> let's take uh, accommodation type. And remember, we are not going to be showing it because the question paper did not tell us to show accommodation type. 
they only told us to show these three so let's untick this and our criteria is in double quotes why you are t uh the second criteria is it should be available for three days so availability comes in uh availability comes in number of days booked okay so number of days booked let's not show it because we are not being told to show it and we need it to be number three and then the question paper goes on to say uh, located in Cornwall okay so location so we will be taking the location and let's double click and location also we will not be showing it and in double quotes we want it to be in Cornwall okay so it has to be a youth type it has to be number three days and it has to be from it has to be in con wall okay uh, I think that's pretty much what they have asked for so we have created it sorting we did the fields we did okay so let's run the query how do you run the query in the query design tab you have the option called run so let's click on run and you are getting three results okay so then what you're supposed to be doing next is you're supposed to save the query as youth so let's click on save and let's save it as yurt okay say okay so you can see the query has got saved over here uh, by any chance if the query is not appearing for you if the forms are not appearing for you just click over here and say you want all access objects to be visible so then the query the form the tables everything is going to be visible to you okay uh, moving on back to our question paper it says take a screenshot of the query design not the results query design so you'll have to come back into design view come back to right now we're in data sheet view you will have to come back into design view and you will have to take a screenshot of this so you can say print screen and uh, you're supposed to paste a copy of the query design into document task a2 do not print at this stage okay so let's enter okay so we have our screenshot pasted and then it says uh, display the ordered and sorted results of the query uh, take a screenshot of the results paste a copy of the results into document task a2 okay so they want a screenshot of the results as well so let's come to data sheet view let's take a screenshot of this as well and uh, let's come back to our microsoft word document keep the cursor at the end of the image enter and control v okay uh, then the question paper goes on to say uh, resave task a2 do not print at this stage okay so let's resave this and we will not be printing at this stage okay so next we have another activity task a2e we'll continue this activity in the next video okay so uh, see you in the next video